Hello everybody, in this Rhino 7 video demo, I would like to demonstrate the freeform modeling of an organic vase using some of these versions newer tools such as the subd commands. Okay, let's start. Let's begin by creating the cross sections of the main form, which comprises a series of circles. Okay. So let's set the radius to let's say 42 for the base. I'm going to duplicate a few more circles by pressing and holding the Alt key. Okay. Let's scale this by pressing and holding the shift key for proportional scaling. Okay, I'm going to shift these two to one side, something like that, okay? Okay, next I would like to create the main form by using the sub D loft. But before that, I'll need to rebuild this curve to be something that is uh, more uh, usable, okay? So uh, what I'm going to do is... Um, Select them and type uh, rebuild. Okay, and I'm going to rebuild them to degree three point count maybe um, 11 and also need to make the curves are uh, sub friendly. Okay, by enabling this option over here and let's click okay. Okay, yeah, so. Let's do the sub D loft, okay? So click the sub D loft, select the curves in sequence, press enter, okay? I would like to have more uh, segments over here, and to do that, I can increase the division between shapes option, okay? So I go to set this to a higher value, let's say two, okay? see by uh, setting this to two you can see that additional uh, segments has been created okay the reason for doing this is that uh, I'll need to use one of these uh, face to extrude into an additional opening okay let's click okay I reckon I do not need the curves anymore let's um, hide them by the way if you Press the tab key, you are able to toggle between the smooth and the flat mode of the sub D. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select this space and do an extrusion. And to make that easier, we can use the selection filter. Okay. So uh, click on the selection filter and then uh, enable sub object. This will allow us to select the sub components of sub D, namely the face, the edge, and the vertices. Okay, so I'm going to select this and let's uh, change this to let's say align to view. Okay, and let's uh, go to rotate this something like that. Okay, something like that and then do an extrusion okay by clicking on the extrude dot okay and let's do a proportional scaling rotate some more and one more extrusion maybe okay maybe something like that okay so what I'm going to do is um, 
press the tab key to turn into the smooth mode and then um, I reckon that maybe I will need to create an opening over here okay let's uh, shoot this further and press the delete key to create an opening over here okay okay maybe this part needs to be smaller okay we can do so by uh, selecting this entire loop by doing a double click on one of the edges and then let's do a proportional scaling Okay, maybe something like that. Okay, if you desire to have, let's say, another additional segment, you can do so by using the insert edge, okay? Which I will demonstrate now, okay? So, uh, in order to do the insert edge, you must select the relevant uh, edge for the insertion, which are, in this case, uh, this these edges okay and then let's uh, click this uh, insert edge okay so you can see yeah I'm creating a, another edge here so that I can uh, have a better control over uh, the, the, the profile over here okay something like that okay and I reckon that maybe this opening is a bit too big so let's uh, make it smaller by double clicking and then do a do a scaling, okay, something like that, okay. Okay, I reckon that I actually do not need uh, this this uh, this loop here, so I go to double click and press delete, okay, yeah, something like that, and let's uh, scale this up. Okay, something like that. Okay, once you are happy with the form, you can uh, proceed to convert it to NURBS. You can type to NURBS and then uh, remember to deactivate subject so that you can select the main form again and then uh, press enter and I want to delete the input object. Okay, please. Uh, set this to yes and then enter. Yeah, so now I got the NURBS uh, form and then let's proceed to cover this part here. Okay, I reckon we can do that by using the surface from planar curves. Okay, and then let's join all this together. Okay, now I'm going to create a, a fillet around here. Let's go to solid, fillet edge, fillet edge, and set the radius to let's say six. Okay. Okay, something like that. Okay, great. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is to create an uh, even wall thickness. And we can do that by using the offset surface. Okay, so let's select this, enter, and let's give a thickness of let's say 2. Okay, we got something like that. Great. So the next thing that we need to do is to create a surface over here by using maybe the blend surface so let's set the auto chain to yes okay enter and set the h1 and 2 to curvature matches okay for nice smooth uh, blends okay and let's repeat the same process for this opening
okay set one and two to curvature as well click okay okay so now uh, let's uh, join all this together okay let's see whether this is a solid so go to analyze mass property volume great we got a solid okay let's evaluate the surface by using the environmental map something like that okay with that i come to the end of this uh, demonstration hope that's been useful to you see you around bye